what's going on everybody back again with another video and today we are taking a look at the staccato p dpo now staccato has had the p model for a while now but they've incorporated a couple different variants of the p as it has progressed as it has gained more popularity and as it has been adopted by more and more people more and more departments uh, in law enforcement and in uh, the FBI. It's a very popular platform for a reason. We'll get into that. This is the best gun that I've ever owned, uh, that I've ever shot. It's not the most expensive, it's not the fanciest, but it's just the best overall gun that I've ever owned. They do have a steel frame and then they have a aluminum frame that you can purchase with the Staccato P. This is the full steel frame, all right? And that makes a big difference uh, I wish I had an aluminum frame uh, Model P that I can show you guys and kind of compare and contrast, but rest assured that if your goal with your Staccato P is to get the best shooting experience possible, you're going to love the steel frame. Uh, if, you're, if your main purpose is going to be to carry it, the aluminum frame is likely going to be the best fit for you. So the Staccato P is technically a 2011 pistol, all right? What does that mean? It means it shoots a nine millimeter, a double stack, and it's basically in the footprint and frame of a 1911. It's a little bit chunkier than a 1911. If you've never owned or shot a 2011, uh, think of it as a slightly chunkier, uh, slightly stubbier 1911 that fires a hell of a lot more rounds, but they're smaller rounds, so you've got like almost no recoil. The Staccato P is the duty model that Staccato has of their uh, of their 2011 series. You've got other models that are smaller, so they are more uh, fit for carry. You've got the you know the C2. Then you got larger ones that are more about the competition uh, aspect of things. So you've got uh, the XL. You've got the XC. And there might be even more models that I'm forgetting right now, but rest assured, Staccato has something for everybody on this platform. It does come with a few different magazines. This is a 20 round magazine, and you can see it's got an extended magazine base plate. Um, you also get the flush mags, and the flush mags are still 17 round magazines. So um, they're very nice magazines, by the way. So. Uh, completely stainless, as you can see, very well built, very solid, durable, um, really sleek and smooth. The polish on here is amazing. Uh, even the base plates, they are metal. So really nice touch from Staccato, giving you some really nicely made magazines. Okay? With, the, with the PDPO, uh, it's going to be milled and ready for an optic plate. Unfortunately, Staccato does not give you the optics plates uh, out of the box. So you're gonna have to go spend another, you know, between 100, 150 bucks, uh, depending on which optic you choose to put on here. So I've got an RMR, obviously, the plate itself comes with the plate that holds the RMR plus your rear sight, because when you do take off the, uh, the cover, you're gonna lose your rear sight. So unless you're getting an optic uh, plate that already has one incorporated, you're basically getting just your optic at that point. So. Um, I think this one was around 150 bucks, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. Uh, pricey, but again, uh, you're dealing with a 2011. Everything you buy for a 2011 is going to be a little bit pricey regardless. So it just is what it is. This also has the T2 tactical grip. Okay, so uh, normally Staccato has a, uh, it's a less aggressive and just kind of laser etched uh, grip that kind of has a bunch of these little stars and patterns all over. Uh, it's a nice enough grip. It's got good a good amount of texture to it, but the T2 grips over here is more of that skateboard tape, kind of like that sandpaper type texture. They're doing that on the, uh, the T2 series of grips. These are way nicer, in my opinion, than the, uh, the standard. I had the standard on my uh, aluminum Staccato P. This is a big, big difference in terms of just the overall grip um, and just the purchase that you get on, on the uh, grip for whatever reason just feels much nicer. All the P's come with this really flared out magwell. It helps a lot for obviously, you know, being able to quickly load a new magazine and uh, guides your magazine in really nicely. So that's pretty cool. 
you get an ambi safety so obviously both sides nice and positive very tactile um, there's no play or wiggle there's also no play in anything with this gun well i've got an empty magazine so that doesn't really count but there is no wiggle there's everything is really tight fitting on these things uh the custom fitting is amazing so if you look at you know your uh, slide to frame finish it's flawless there's no hard edge on any part of this right here very nice and smooth you can kind of hear that i mean it's just gliding there's nothing there to kind of let it wiggle or whatever but triggers on these things are freaking amazing so it is a polymer trigger as is the frame believe it or not so what's cool about that is that you can replace this entire this entire lower frame piece right over here um, and then again, if they come out with alternative grips that you like better, uh, it's not just going to be the grip that you're getting. You're getting this this whole piece right over here with the uh, trigger guard and everything incorporated. So kind of cool. The trigger, again, incredible. Uh, it is going to be a very, very light pull. This pull, you're going to have like a two millimeter bit of movement right here. You're going to hit a solid wall and then the pull, it's right around three three and a half pounds look at that reset almost no movement yeah right around three three and a half uh, pounds in terms of your pull your resets about a millimeter so look at that I mean it's I adjusted this okay so these are adjustable you do have like a little hole that's over here so you've got your uh, set screw that you can uh, you can adjust to give yourself more or less slack in the trigger depending on how you like it. This has also got the option of the DLC uh, bull barrel. So this entire gun is covered in DLC, which stands for diamond like carbon. That is the coating that's on here. It's extremely durable, extremely smooth. I mean, it just feels like everything's kind of riding on ball bearings uh, with the combination of the barrel being in that DLC and the frame itself being in that DLC. So. It's a really nice finish and one that I feel like is going to last for years and years to come. Um, I do holster this a lot and so far I'm not getting any type of wear anywhere on this gun. So really good sign there. The custom fitting um, for the bull barrel over here is very nice. So pretty flush with the slide. So what I have on here that you don't get out of the box, I've got a Surefire X300 Ultra. This is the Type A with the uh, quick detach over here. Um, and I also have a Trigicon RMR. Um, this is the dual illuminated optic, so it collects light through this fiber optic over here. And then you also have tritium when you don't have any type of ambient light for it to collect for the reticle. Some of the good. This is the nicest shooting pistol I've ever owned, okay? It stays nice and flat. The extra weight from the steel frame definitely makes it feel like it's getting even less uh, recoil than the aluminum model. The grip and everything I mentioned about, you know, the, the more aggressive texturing on the T2 grips, it definitely helps as well. Um, keeping that, you know, that pistol right in line. It translates into it being one of the nicest shooting pistols I guarantee you'll ever fire. And the fact that it's 9mm. And 9mm already, you're not dealing with a lot of recoil to speak of anyways. Aside from that, let's just get into the bad, okay? The bad is going to be stuff where it's, you know, it is what it is. The price, okay? So, in the configuration that you see over here, minus, obviously, the additions that I've placed on. But just if you were buying a Staccato P DPO and you're getting it with the T2 grips and you're getting it with the DLC barrel, uh, you're talking about 2600 bucks. 2011s all kind of are in that three, four, five, six thousand dollar range, anyways. Okay, this on the on the 2011 scale is actually on the lower end, which is amazing considering how awesome this thing shoots and how much you're getting for the money. So it really is a bargain, but it's a negative just because it's still a lot of money for any pistol, any firearm. To be honest with you guys, the other I, I would say negative is going to be just the fact that. You're going to pay out a lot of money for any accessories or any add-ons for this uh, for this pistol, including again optic plates, uh, including sights, including you know if you upgrade the trigger, upgrade uh, any of the other components. Expect to pay a lot for it because it's a 2011 platform. Aside from that, there are no negatives that I can speak of. It's just about money. Okay, so if money is no object to you, 
and you could afford to splurge uh, and you just want the best thing possible for a duty capable 2011 this is freaking phenomenal okay phenomenal it's I, I can't say enough good things about it how does it compare to other 2011s I wish I could tell you from experience I've never owned any other 2011s I would love to have them uh, they're just way too damn expensive however I've never seen visually any other 2011 that was purpose built for duty and that's a big deal because most 2011s are built for performance um, they're not really built to take on the regular everyday use of you know, law enforcement military what have you so that says a lot about staccato and how they've been able to put that in a package where it's not as expensive it's probably around half the cost of your typical 2011 so with that being said it's kind of like having a police car that's a Corvette okay um, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a C8 Corvette like the new mid-engine Corvette and having it built for you know law enforcement use it's ridiculous all right it's overly engineered however if you have the money why the hell not why wouldn't you want something that's more than what you need so with that being said, guys, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments section. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be reminded about the next video. And until then, I will see you later.